Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing my summer essentials and I'm doing this as a collab with my friend Tara from War Paint with Tara Michelle. If you don't know who Tara is, you're definitely missing out because she is so fun, so sweet. She's one of my friends and I just think she's such an amazing person. Like knowing her beyond her channel, she's just an incredible person and she's so sweet, so funny. I love her channel, her videos. Put a smile on my face. She's just herself in her videos. I love her. I know that you will love her too. So we're going to be sharing our summer essentials and we didn't make any kind of rules for each other for a number to stick to or even categories. So we're just going to be sharing what we have to have for the summertime. So after you check out my video, don't forget to go check hers out. So I will link her channel and her video down below for you guys. So let's get into my summer essentials. So first starting with some makeup things. So a really great SPF is so important in the summer. So I love this one for my face. This is the Josie Marin Argonne Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. So it's a really high number, but also it's a more natural sunscreen, which I really like. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to because it feels a little bit thick on the skin, but honestly, I like the feeling of it better than like just a regular SPF. So I think this is a great choice. I think it's around $32. Um, but I just love how high the number is and then it's more natural. For foundation, I have to stick with a more long wearing foundation, but sometimes those can feel a little bit heavy on the skin. So honestly, how I fix that problem is that I just use less. So I use less on my brush or on my beauty blender and that's why I fix that problem and it works just fine. So I love the Lancome Tentai Doll Ultra 24 hour makeup. This is awesome. I also love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is so great. Both of these are beautiful. This one is more kind of like a satiny matte finish. This one is definitely more matte, but I pair it with the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. These together, I love. It just gives it a slightly more satiny matte finish, but it's super long wearing and just a really nice foundation. So this one I wear 102 and the Lancome I wear 210 Buff both great foundations. And I use bronzers throughout the year, but I just noticed that in the summer, I tend to go for more warm toned bronzers or ones that have just a little bit more of a sheen or a glow to them. So I have some favorites. So first off is the Sephora Bronzing Face Powder in Fiji 4. This is so pretty. This one isn't super warm toned. It's really not. This one's kind of like right in the middle, but it has just a beautiful, sheen to it. It looks gorgeous on the skin. I love this bronzer. It is amazing. Um, another favorite would be NARS Laguna. This one is all kinds of torn up right now. It's like cracking everywhere and it's on its last leg. But I mean, oh my gosh, I love, look how dirty that looks. That's not very pretty, but I love this bronzer. It is such a, it's like a nice, right in the middle bronzer, but it has a little bit of warmth to it. It is gorgeous. It has a little bit of a sheen, but it doesn't show up as like shimmer on your face. And then if you like a warm toned bronzer, you need to like warm toned to get this one. This is the Sephora Sun Disc and it's limited edition. I mean, it just looks like summertime. And when you open it and look at it, I mean, it just looks so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Yeah. So it's a pretty bronzer to look at. It looks summery, but I mean, it it's pretty warm toned. I mean, it's got a lot of warmth to it, but I do really like this. It has a little bit of a scent to it. I don't know how you to describe it. I don't know, a little bit of baby powder mixed with maybe coconut, I'm not sure. And my favorite bronzer brush is the Delium Tools 992. Love this for bronzing up my neck. It's amazing. I love however, like how many um, hairs it has in it. It's just a great brush. This is like my holy grail brush for applying bronzer now. And I'm so glad that I have this one because I didn't have a good bronzer brush. Like I use different things and they totally worked, but this works better. And I love a good glow or kind of golden highlight in the summertime. That's just, I love golden highlights pretty much any time of year, but like if you have a little bit more color to your skin, that golden sheen is just amazing. So first, I already mentioned this. This is the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. I mix this with other things. You can use this by itself, but um, I mix it with that Pro Matte Foundation um, or just something else. It's great though for mixing, but it has this really beautiful golden sheen to it. And it almost like, I don't know, 
I don't want to say it makes your skin look wet because that's kind of weird. You don't want to look like you've, you know, been swimming and didn't dry off or something, but it just gives that little bit of like life to your skin is how I would describe it. And then this is like one of my top five favorite highlights ever since I got it. I love it. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Two Reflect Shimmer Palette in Hollywood Boulevard. This highlight is life. I love this. Oh my gosh, look at it. It is so glowy. It has a lot of pigmentation to it, but it's beautiful right there. Oh, look at that glow. Is that not amazing? I love this highlight and it's like, I think four or five dollars. Yes. I love both of these. This one is great for versatility of mixing with other things, but it's great by itself too. But this one is just a great powder highlight. It's gorgeous. And like with my bronzers, I really enjoy warm tones on my eyes as well. I don't always stick to that, but I think that that looks so summery and bronzy and just beautiful in the summertime. So my Naked One is always a favorite, but this is a new favorite that I'm obsessed with. The Tarte Showstopper Clay Palette. This is so good. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. It is just so bronzy and amazing. All of the products in here perform beautifully. This is amazing. I love this palette so much. I have a blog post on it, so if you want to see swatches, I'll link it down below for you. But love this. But yeah, I just love those like bronzy, coppery sort of eye looks in the summer. It just looks so gorgeous for this time of year. For lips in the summer, I find myself grabbing for just easy lip products. So sometimes I'll do the full on liner and lipstick and all that. I definitely still do that, but I find myself grabbing for just easy lip products more so. So I love the Almay, um, what are these called? The Smart Shade Butter Kiss Lipsticks in Pink Medium is this one. It's a really pretty, just glossy pink color. Love this. And then what I have on my lips right now, just for easy lip glosses, the NYX Butter Glosses are always gonna be one of my favorites. This is Peaches and Cream. This is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is so pretty, like just a slightly peachy pink, kind of a glossy color. Aren't those pretty? So that one is the Almay and that's the NYX. Love them. So just glossy and easy, that's what I go for. These are both great ones. Um, the Sonia Kashuk ones, these are the, what are these called? The Sheer, the Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Colors. This one is in Sheer Pink Lust. This is a really nice, like easy neutral pink. That's why I like this one. I mean, it is like, it's super glossy. But really, if you put that on your lips, if that starts to wear off, that's no big deal whatsoever. That's why I go for these kind of lip products. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about it. You know, if you're at an amusement park, if you are at a pool, if you're at a family barbecue or something, it's no big thing if your lip product starts to wear away. It's not like if you're wearing a matte red lip or something like that, because that's a more high maintenance lip. For my hair in the summer, I pretty much fix it the same way I do the rest of the year, but I usually spend less time on it. So I'll do more kind of like beachy tousled sort of looks like I'm wearing right now. Just the less time I have to spend on it in the summer is a good thing. So if I cannot wash it, that's an added bonus. So I love the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. This is incredible. This will be a product that I will never be without because it is like my holy grail for dry shampoo type products. It works so well. I even find myself like that my hair isn't as oily like days after I use it. So I don't know what is happening with this product, but I just love it. I do go through it fairly quickly, but I love it so much that I'm just I'm just gonna keep going through it. I'm just gonna keep purchasing it because I think it's amazing. And then for like that beachy tousled look to your hair, I love the Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion. This is just a really nice, it's an oil and salt infused spray for your hair. So it doesn't like make your hair feel crunchy or weird. It just gives that kind of tousled look. So what I do is I spray it in my hand and then I kind of scrunch my hair. So I like that method better because I can kind of like control where I have it. But yeah, I love these two products. They are so great for any time of the year, but especially summer when I'm trying to go more low maintenance and just faster. I want to be able to fix my hair quickly in the morning. And I think we pretty much all want to be bronzy and tan in the summertime. And I totally meant to sunless tan again before this video, but 
I completely spaced, so this is like a week out from tanning. I just have very little color, but it's okay. These are like holy grail tanning products for me though, and I know that they have been for at least two years, but maybe three or longer. I never wanna be without these products, I love them. So first off is a good exfoliator. That is so important when you're tanning, you need to exfoliate. Um, and my favorite is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub. I use it in Brazilian Nut. I get mine from Ulta, but I think you can get this from Walmart too. It's inexpensive, I think between five and seven dollars or something like that. But what I like about this is that it's a really gritty exfoliator. I don't like scrubs that have like two little bits in it that are supposed to exfoliate your arm. Like that does not work. I want something that actually feels like it's working and it's really like not cutting your skin. Obviously you don't want it like shards of glass or anything like that, but you want it to like really be gritty enough. And this one totally is. It works really, really well. I love this. This is my favorite scrub. And then I have tried every tanner under the sun. I've tried $50 ones, 40, 30, seven, you name it. This one's my favorite. This is the Tan Wise Sunless Tanning Lotion. I get this from Sally's. Now they have like a mousse, a spray, a face lotion, like a bunch of different products. But when I found it, it was pretty much just the lotion. I prefer the lotion because I can mix it with regular lotion. And I do that on my hands and feet and sometimes like on my elbows and stuff. And I use a brush. I was so excited when I saw Jaclyn Hill's tanning video because she mentioned a brush and I was like, yes, because I've been using a brush for I think like two years now, and it makes a world of difference. I don't use it all over my body, but anywhere that I feel like I need to blend. So sometimes around my neck, but mainly on my feet and my hands and like my wrists and stuff makes such a difference. I've never done a tanning video because I don't know how I would do that. Like I don't know how I would film it and where and how it would really work, but I'm just kind of giving you my application tips now. So a brush is really so important. Mixing it with regular lotion sometimes if you don't want as much color in certain areas. Um, but I love this because it doesn't wear off unevenly. Every tanner under the sun wears off unevenly on me, but this one doesn't. Um, you do smell when it's developing, for sure. Uh, yeah, you smell. I. It's like, I don't even know. You know the tanning smell. You smell like it. But I love the color. I love how it works and it applies and I love how it wears off and I love that it's $10. That's just an added bonus. I think I would legit cry if Sally Hansen stopped making their airbrushed legs. I discovered this, I think, three years ago and this is incredible. It's, it's leg makeup. It's like foundation for your body. I mix this with regular lotion so that it's not quite as thick but you could, I mean, it's, it's intended to use by itself, but it is just really opaque. So I find that, you know, mixing it with some regular lotion makes it a little bit less um, thick looking. It's a little bit less like foundation and more just like colored lotion or something like that. But I use it in light. Um, I also have it in fairest, but this one is almost a little bit too light for me. Um, this is more like if I have no color whatsoever and I just want to like make my legs look a little bit better, I'll use this one. But I really do prefer the light. Um, but it gives your legs like the most beautiful look to them, a little bit of color. It doesn't like wear off. I haven't noticed it like transferring onto my clothes or anything like that. I mean, I haven't gone out in like a torrential downpour, but little sprinkles of rain, I don't notice it wearing off or anything. I mean, it says that it's water resistant. I love this stuff. I think it's like $12 or something. Um, there's a spray too, but I like the lotion. It's just easier for me to use. This is so good. You need to try this if you never have. And I think this video is getting crazy long, so I'm gonna blow through my fashion favorites, but I live in dresses in the summer because they're really comfortable, they're cool, and if I throw something over them, I can wear them pretty much anywhere, which is great. So I have some favorites. This one's from Target a few years ago. I don't even know how many years ago. Maybe like five years ago? I don't know. This one is from Walgreens, randomly enough. I look at dresses everywhere. I will buy a dress anywhere, it doesn't matter. This one is from Charlotte Russe. Um, I got this the same year I got this first one, so I think maybe five years ago. So I just love dresses. I think they're so comfy and cute, and I really enjoy denim vests to wear over them because it's just a way of like, you know, they're spaghetti straps, so they're a way of covering up a little bit and I can wear them more places. So these are some of my favorites. I don't remember where I got these. I was trying to think through. I really have no clue. I looked for denim vests everywhere 
And I have like different lengths. You can tell that, that one's darker and a little bit shorter. And then this one is darker and a little bit longer. So I mean, I denim vests and denim jackets, I don't know. I seem to collect them. I really love them. And then this year I'm loving Palazzo pants because they are so cute and they're really comfortable. I mean, they're like wearing pajamas, really. They feel like pajamas, um, but you can get away with wearing them most places. So this pair, um, I think I got this at a local boutique. So yeah, that's where I got that one. And really they're kind of starting to like pop up everywhere. So you can definitely find some that I think you would like. And then this pair I got at Target. I liked this one because it's black and white so I can pair it with different colored tops. So I have a lot more options with this one, but I just think that the like funky patterns are so fun and they're really soft and they're just comfortable and cute. So these are great. All right guys, those are all my summer essentials. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to go check out Tara. I'm gonna leave her channel and her video linked down below for you guys. I know that she's gonna have some great picks for us and I think you're just gonna love her. Her personality, her makeup picks, and she is just a sweet, genuine person and a great friend to me. So I just love her. I know that you will too. If you're coming over from Tara's channel, welcome. I hope that you'll check out some of my other videos and stick around for a while. I would love to have you on my channel. Ask me any questions that you have about any of these products. I'm happy to answer those and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!